you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are told to draw the curve of insertion of the two pipes penetrating each other and it is displayed at the right hand side of the screen we have pipe b penetrating pipe a and we want to we are asked to draw the curve of intersection between the pipes one thing you need to know is that these two pipes have equal diameter they are of the same diameter so the first thing you do is that if you look at the diagram very well discover that it is the same diagram both the one above and the one below but at different views the one above is the elevation of the two pipes while the one below is the plan of the two pipes looking in from the top now you want to draw you start drawing from what from the plan which is this so first of all i will take my set square my cut my t square and i'm going to draw a straight line this way you can see that and i'm going to take my meter rule my set square place it at this point where they meet and i'm going to draw a vertical line here too this way now they are both meeting at this point here right now if you look at the circle very well at the right hand side of the screen the diameter of the circle is given to be 30 so i need the radius and the radius is what is 15. so i'm going to measure 15 on my meter rule from 0 to this point here is 15 right and i'll place it at that point the two lines meet and i'm going to draw my circle Now this is what I have. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that from this center point to this end line here is given to be 30 millimeter. So I'm going to measure 30 from this point. 0 to what? To 3 is 30. And I'm going to draw a vertical line this way. Then I'll connect this point to this line and I'll also connect this point to this line and I'll close here up. So I successfully drawn out the plan. Now it's for me to draw out the elevation. Now what I'm going to do here in drawing out the elevation is that I am going to project the edge of my circle and also I project this also right now this point at this point is this point and this point somewhere around here so your elevation can be at any height away from your plan so I'll just take this very close to it what we have here right and the height from here to here is given to be 60 and I'm going to measure 60 I'm going to measure 60 from 0 right to 6 is 60 right from 0 to 6 is 60 then I'll close it up from this point to this point and also I'll close it up too from this point to this point you can see that now if you look at this from here to here it's going to be 30 and i'm going to measure 30 also from this point here to this point here to here is 30 then what i'm going to do is since the same the pipes are the same diameter which is uh, 30 millimeter you can see take this distance from here to here and I'll place it here which is 15 15 so this is 30 right and um, I'll project this this way I'll project this point this way and move my line from here towards this point I'll move my line from here towards this point 
Yeah, conclude it all. Conclude it all. So this is what we have. We have successfully reproduced the figure at the right hand side of the screen. Right? So what we should do here now is to draw the curve of what of the intersection. How are we going to do that? We'll take your T square and your C square and you just draw a line close to it this way. And um, you draw a straight line from here. To mark the center of that line so this is this point and this point you take your compass having this distance from here to here which is 15 right and you place it there and you draw your semicircle you come here also you do the same thing draw your semicircle now that's a semicircle, I need to divide it into twelve into six equal parts. So when I place it here, I'm going to strike up and down. I'll come here also. I'll strike um this point and I'll place it here too. I'm going to strike this point. Right? So in doing that, I'll do the same thing here too. Place it here up and down come to this point two strike here come to this point two strike here now you take your um rule right and you connect all these points from this point to the center point this way from this point to the center point this way from this point to the center point, this way, from here to here, this way, then from this point to the center point, this way, from here to here, this way, from here to here. This way, from here to here, this way. Now, if the vertical here is zero, it will be one, two, three, two, one, zero. So if here is zero, here will be horizontal will not be what zero. So we have been one, one, two, two, three, three. Is what we have here, and I'll now project this point to touch the circumference of what of the circle. So, in doing that, I'll be having this this way. So, this should touch the circumference of the circle in this manner. From here, I'll touch this. From here, I'll touch this. From here, I'll touch this. From here. I'll touch this. Yeah, come here too. I'll draw a straight line. And this point too. Draw another straight line. For this point too. I'll draw another straight line. And here. I'll draw another straight line. And this three is already there already. This is this. And this. And there is there. And this. So we'll start. And if you look at it, this is zero. Let me start from the base. This is zero. This is the line of zero, right? The two zero are meeting at this point. So they are moving forward. So zero will meet zero at this point. This is point zero. Similarly, we have um, one. One. The next point is one. So I'll move to that point one here. I'll pick it up. So this is the line of one. One we meet one here. And also one we meet one here. So this is one and this is what one. Right? 
Also das war das zu. Das ist fünf. Das ist fünf. Du ist die zu, zu. Ist die zu, zu. Am Mitteln ist ein Point. I'm pressing up. This is the line of two here. Two. And what? Two. Then the three here. This is three meeting at this point. Three moving three. Now we're going to join them together. This two point. Then this two point here. This is what we have here. All those points we join them together. Now the next thing you do after drawing the entire penetrating arc is for you to draw the development of this arc here. So how will you do that? You're going to come at the top here and you just draw an horizontal a horizontal line this way. You can see that? And you project the end of this pipe here, take it up, I see that, so this is where they are meeting, now you divide it into 6, since here is divided into 6, and it starts from 3, so let's do that and see, so if I, you take the measurement between these two points here, so from here, I'll place it here, this is 2, Starting from three, this three, this two, this is one, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is what three. Right? So let me write it out. This will be zero. Sorry, I start with three. This will be two, one, zero, one, two, three. So now at the highest point here. I'm going to project that point out this way. So I'll start projecting this two coming up, the one coming up, zero coming up, one coming up, two, three. Can I see that? So all those points, one, two, three, I'll project them up. So if you look at this, this is point three here. You trace it, point three to this point. I'll project it. We have to say either point three is meeting point three at this point and this point, point three is meeting each other. The next one I'll project point two. This is two here at this point. So project two. So where two number two, this is where two. Meeting two. Yes, one is one. Project point one. Now this is where one. You meeting one here. That's one here. Then we have point three, point zero. Where zero is zero here. Here. Yeah. That we have there. So you not join this point together. If I'm joining this, I'll join this to this and this to this. And I'll close it up this way. Right? So that is the development of this. Right? So now. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.